Hello everybody, welcome back to these short uh, computer video trainings. We'll continue the programming channel today and we'll use VBScript, Visual Basic Script to um, VBS to uh, add a user in the Active Directory and set up some of the attributes for that specific user. So, <coughs> first of all, you need to have the appropriate permissions to the Active Directory tree evidently, to actually run these commands, otherwise the server will just reject your commands and uh, nothing's going to happen. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to set up an um, organization unique op unit object, and we do this, and we don't set up a uh, user object, from first off, because um, we actually, maybe we need to add different users or more users in the same organization unit, so it's a good idea to have an object created for the OU alone. Okay, so let's get to it. It's going to be set, um, let's say, object OU, right? Uh, organization unit. Um, and it's going to be get object. Get object, and of course we're going to use LDAP. To subtract the object, I'm sorry, it's not supposed to be there. And so it's going to be LDAP, double slash, um, and we're going to get the organization unit, which is going to be users. So normal users organization unit, nothing fancy. Um, DC is going to be, let's say, test domain as we said in the last uh, post as well if you have a um, parent domain you need to specify that as well as well so it's test domain parent so this is you know let's let's make it more uh, intelligible right so let's say you have a server uh, domain controller that it's uh, london dot i don't know my domain dot com right so it's good it's going to be london This is going to be my domain. And you need to add that com as well. So it's going to be the users organization unit in london.mydomain.com. Right? You can see all these in your Active Directory. If you look at the properties, you can, you can actually subtract these so, you, so you, you'll know for sure what's the path for a specific user. Just, check, just uh, choose any user from the user OU and uh, Look at the object properties, and you, you're actually going to see all this that you need to put in. Okay, so we we set this object up already. We're going to set the user object. So it's going to be object user, and this time it's going to be a create. I'm sorry, it's create command, and we will create a user. Right, so there's going to be user because you can create the organization unit as well inside the organization unit so you need to specify if it's a user an organization unit or a group or um, a computer for example if it's a computer or you and so forth and so forth so it's going to be a user for us and you need to specify the user as well the complete name you need to specify the complete name and the complete name for us will be a test user test user account let's say okay test user account that will be the complete name the full name of that specific uh, user okay now to set up some properties you need to use the object user just created and the put uh, method right so we're going to do a object user dot put and let's set up the some account name Some account name will be this is um, the logon username, right? So the logon username on Windows 2000 and uh, before that, the logon username. So let's see, this will be test, for example, right? Or test user or whatever. For us, it's going to be test for now. We're going to define it as test. So when this user logs in, he needs to put underscore test as a username and the password, right? Okay, so we define this. Let's define 
the given name given name will be test of course so that will be test because the complete username is is based on the given name and uh, the first name and the um, last name right so this is it then last name actually I'm sorry first name is this one actually it's gonna be user account for us you can see all this if you using if you if you actually look in the active directory at any users properties you can see that you need to have uh, a complete name uh, first and last name which actually comprises the complete name of the user which is right here and a logon name as well the the name and the actual username that the user uses to to log into the computer okay and the last thing we're going to set up is going to be the password right so actually I'm sorry this I made a mistake we're not going to use the put method for this one we're going to use the set password method remember AD interprets every single command and looks for these methods right if this method doesn't exist in Active Directory it's not going to execute it evidently so we're going to use the set password command and we're going to set up a password it's going to be password1 whatever All right and this is going to set the password right but this we we just put the, the all these attributes to this to this object we created we actually need to send it to active directory and we we're going to use that use we're going to do that using object user the set info i'm sorry that's set info method method with no variables because we already have the variables defined okay so that's basically it uh, for all the general all, all the general attributes you need to put in you just modify this script with um, your domain and um, your organization unit and of course the username you want to create and all these variables and put all these commands in a text file or you can use I use notepad usually but you can use notepad plus plus as well which is free on the internet save it uh, change the uh, extension to VBS like I did right here and then just run it against uh, that specific server right remember you need to have the proper permissions to the DC to actually execute these commands against the domain controller otherwise the server will just reject the commands and nothing's gonna happen right okay thank you for watching um, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and um, don't forget to check out our blog as well what about the bottom of the video thank you